everybody and welcome to the Marble Winter Games 2021. Today we have our first of four events and it's speed skating. And we're going to show you a quick demo run here and there's a reason this is a demo run and you'll see how close this finish was. In fact, this finish was so close that our camera literally could not pick up the winner at 60 frames a second. So that is what we're going to be using as a demo run here and as you can see right there you can pause if you need to see the event specifics. We've got Mudslide versus Celtic the rematch to open up our tournament. Celtic well ahead this time, and it's not even close in the end, and Celtic posts a 553, which pretty much destroys Mudslide's time with a 622 right there, and in the replays we'll try and analyze why these marbles have succeeded. This one looks to be all supernova all day, and it is. Grayscale not really going to pose much of a challenge here, and we'll see. He definitely had a lot of airtime. you see. That was one of the strategies we mentioned in the info card, and... He clearly was hopping a lot there in the beginning, so not good for him. Now Banana Split, Inferno, Inferno with the lead, but here comes Banana Split out of nowhere. A lot of pace on this one, and that is going to be a victory for him. Check the replay here, and he just got a much better exit off of the Hot Wheels track and onto the Frozen Lake, which is quite smooth. There are a little bit of bumps, but overall, it's a very smooth track, which helps the marbles to roll these super far distances. And now Tree Frog and Tidal Wave. Actually, Tidal Wave is going to come up with the pass here, and this one is going to go his way. Not sure what happened to Tree Frog. It might just be another example of the marble just not having a lot of speed coming off. And we'll check. Yeah, he just, in addition to not having a lot of speed, he didn't have a straight trajectory towards the finish line. A little bit more of di a diagonal and Tidal Wave. And now, this time, it's Octopus with the lead, but Flare trying to make this one a challenge, but that's another example of him just having a really awkward trajectory here. I mean, you're gonna see he's going all the way to the left. Meanwhile, Octopus keeping it fairly straight. He actually hits the line, and you can tell that Flare is way off because of how far away he goes from the line. Now, Winter Blast Forest, and actually, Forest had more pace coming off the line, but he bumps into Winter Blast. We'll see if that time's good enough for the best. It's almost, but not quite. It's just, I think, eight hundredths off of the best time, and Winter Blast gave gave it a go, and Forrest, that bump really hurt him there. So now you can see the overall times, and Forrest currently in last place thanks to that mudslide. First one to go, the highest of those who did not advance. And now it's Supernova versus Celtic. Celtic with the lead, but Supernova giving chase. Can he challenge the line? No. Pretty close, but not quite enough from Supernova, and Celtic hangs on for the win. It was... That was about as close as he got right there in the middle of the race, and then at the end, Celtic did start to stretch it for a time just above six seconds. Now, Tidal Wave and Banana Split. Here comes Banana Split. Oh, Tidal Wave to the side. He just darted out to one side when he looked like he had the race won. I'm not quite sure what happened here. We'll check. And, yeah, he just hits that ice in the middle there, and he got a lot of airtime. In addition to getting the airtime, it sent him off in an awkward direction, so that just about did it for him and now octopus winter blast who's gonna win this one winter blast with the lead octopus giving chase here they're side by side as we come to the line and octopus just barely has enough to take the win in this heat and it was winter blast for about two-thirds of the race and just at the end it goes to octopus and so that's how our everyone from four to twelve goes and now we'll have individual runs since we can't really do three and have it be fair so we're all gonna have one run to set the best time first up is Celtic here he goes going straight not that bad although there were a little bit of jumps in there and it goes down as a 602 you can see a couple of hops there in the middle area but then he does smooth out the run and keeps it fairly straight as he goes to the finish line we'll see if Octopus or Banana Split can beat him let's see Octopus gonna give it a go not many hops for him here. This may look like a lot better of a run. It's close. Did it beat him? Oh my goodness, it did. 594. Only 800th ahead of Celtic. But that is all the difference that Octopus needs right now. And now we'll see what Banana Split can do. Coming down the track, he's got a lot of pace to his run here. Looking mid fives right now. It might be a little bit higher. It's 558. That is far and away the best run of the day for him and he is going to win the event so that's the overall standings after one of four nobody is out of it of course there are still four events but 
those bottom marbles, everyone with five or less points definitely gonna need someone to bring it back. And thank you so much for watching event one of the Marble Winter Games. Stay tuned for next weekend when we come out with event two, skiing. And until then, make sure to subscribe, like, share, do all that. And until then, see you later.